Good morning, everyone. Hi, I'm Janine Davis of James Davis & Associates. I believe everyone can succeed and be happy with the right encouragement, inspiration, and motivation. I'm here to provide a little of that with an episode of Today on the Blog. Today on the Blog, we're talking about having fun with your camera, learning to love your technology, and to enjoy it. Now, I fell in love with cameras and photography back in my early years in college. One of the jobs I had while working my way through school was photo processing at a little camera card shop. Way back then, you took camera, you had film in your camera, you took pictures, and you took the film out of the camera, you took it to a photo shop, and they would turn the film into pictures. It was really a lot of fun, and the great innovation back then was that you could have your pictures in an hour. That's much different from today where we have instant photography with our digital cameras. Back then though, film was expensive. It could be between six and $12 for a roll of film. And on top of that, you had to pay between 10 and $20 to turn the film into pictures. So pictures were a little expensive back then. Not like today where you can take a thousand pictures on your digital camera and it's all free. And you can pick and choose what pictures you want. Back then, you paid to process the pictures. And if you hated the pictures, that's too bad. You paid for them anyway. If you thought there was a roll of film, with pictures on it and it wasn't too bad you paid for it anyway so today things are much better so you can enjoy taking pictures now today digital cameras go from simple point and shooters cameras on your phones to complex DSLR cameras that are mirrorless it's really incredible how much the technology has improved so just get out your camera and start taking pictures. Take pictures of your kids eating breakfast. Take pictures of your spouse watching TV and snoring at the same time. Enjoy the camera, enjoy the technology. Use your camera as something to play with. Don't wait for special occasions. Use it every day to take pictures of life. Even if you don't print them all out, you can store them on CDs, you can store them on thumb drives, you can store them in the cloud so that you can have picture parties later and enjoy those photos. It's really an important thing to do to embrace the camera technology and use it. When you're walking down the street and you're window shopping, use your camera to take pictures of what you see along the way so that you can enjoy window shopping while you're there. Then you can flip through the pictures and enjoy it later on once you get home. When you're using your camera and you run out of things that you need at the grocery store, snap a picture of the package that you use. That way if you send your spouse or your kids or a friend to the market for you, you can give them not just a grocery list, but you can give them the photos of the actual items you buy so that you can get just the right brand, just the right size, everything the way you want because you took a picture of the package. It makes life a lot easier. If you have children who are struggling with writing stories when school starts up again, think they have, sometimes kids when they're young have trouble imagining beginning, middle, and end. Your camera is great for that because what you can have your children start doing is taking picture stories. You tell them, look, show me a, tell me a story in just pictures, beginning, middle, end. <clears throat> and then you have them take the pictures and tell the story that way they can see beginning middle and end and then you do it you take a pictures of the beginning middle end of a story then mix the picture up and ask your kids to put them back in the right order that kind of thing helps with their thinking it helps program them for beginning middle and end and that thinking will transfer over into their schoolwork and help them to organize and understand things a lot better those photo arrangements are actually a school tool not just a silly tool. But the most important thing is just to have fun with your pictures. Watching television, people's faces, people's noses. There are all kinds of filters on your cameras with Snapchat and Bitmojis and all kinds of things that make taking pictures a lot more fun than it used to be. Embrace the technology. Use it. Start using your camera as a tool, as a plaything, as something for fun. You'll get more comfortable with it. And guess what? If you want to be better at taking pictures, if you want to take better pictures, you learn to take better pictures by taking more pictures. So the more photographs you take, the more you use your camera, the better you'll be at it. So if you're using it for fun now, 
when you need to use it for something important later, those photos will be much better because you're used to your equipment. You're used to playing with the settings, lighting, composition, all of that kind of stuff will be a lot better because you know what you're doing, okay? That's our tip for today. That's today on the blog. It's all about enjoying your camera, using your technology to have fun. See you next time with another episode of Today on the Blog. Make sure you tune in in a few minutes to Janine Davis on IGTV for your confidence tip of the day. And also, don't forget, on Friday, we're starting back up our series on how to advocate for your children. School is going to be starting up soon, and you are your children's first and most important advocate. So tune in on Friday for tips on how to do it better. All right? See you later, everybody. Bye.